Martial arts should better be called martial sciences. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Have you ever wondered why so many martial arts look that much alike? The main reason, of course, is this. You might recognize this drawing made by Leonardo da Vinci is of the Vitruvian man and it represents the concept of the ideal human body proportions. You see, even though humans can differ quite a lot individually, in essence, we're all the same. We have two arms, each with hands and fingers. We have two legs, each with feet and toes. We have a core body where our internal organs are, and we have a head on top of a fragile neck. Of course, there are many exceptions, people with extra or missing body parts, but this is essentially the human body. Knowing this, it is quite logical that given enough time and effort, put into studying how to most effectively deal with human enemies, and we humans have and still do put a considerable amount of time and effort into this, many of the same or similar conclusions and techniques will be found independently. To put it in an incredibly simple way, there are three types of unarmed martial arts. There is the art of throwing and holding, there is the art of kicking and or punching, and there is the art that combines or mixes the two. These are the categories in which what we call martial arts are put. Now, throwing and holding is found in wrestling, judo, sambo, etc. Although there is a variant of sambo where punching and kicking is allowed. Punching and or kicking, the so-called percussive techniques, are found in taekwondo, kickboxing, savats, etc. Finally, there are the arts that combine the two, and here you have actual karate, krav maga, muay thai, and so on. Of course, the last group is the group of arts that are most suitable for self-defense, as they teach a more holistic way of keeping yourself safer in dangerous situations. Oh, if you think there are others who might want to hear about this, then punching that like button would be incredibly simple. In grouping the arts this way, you can easily transfer a kickboxer to a savat class without too much need for adaptation. A judoka can be put in a wrestling ring and has a good chance of success. There's a joke about this, uh, told by practical bunkai legend Ian Abernathy. You may know him. He's the man that puts the fun in Funakoshi. Sorry for that one. I'll see myself out. He often says, when he trains in another martial art, the only thing of note that really changes is the outfit they wear. In that sense, he's not cross-training, he's cross-dressing. And everyone who gets the joke laughs. Well, it is a good joke, of course. But he's right. I started this video by showing you a drawing by arguably the greatest human mind that ever walked this planet. I'll offer you this thought to ponder about. Martial arts should better be called martial sciences. Now, I know this is not a new discussion. You study a science and express an art, so by that logic, martial arts are both arts and sciences. But I chose the term martial science because of this. If all knowledge of martial arts, I mean science, were to somehow disappear tomorrow. I am 100% convinced all notable techniques and findings would be rediscovered in not too long a time. I'll go even further. Stuff we're pretty sure doesn't work, uh, places like McDojo's and the such, will not return, or at least will take a long time to reappear. Now, the only strong argument I have against this claim is that unarmed combat is a thing of the past because of armed combat and, of course, firearms. So, let me re-stipulate. If all knowledge of martial science and of weapons were to somehow disappear tomorrow, current events might even warrant such an occurrence, I'm sure all that was lost will be rediscovered. That is because they are part of a universal truth and truth cannot be permanently erased. If you're interested in this kind of thinking, click here for a video about one of the most important weapons in the Kobodo family. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, Thanks for watching. Scientists say our universe is constantly expanding. It's actually running away from Chuck Norris.